Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Saba Pipia. I represent the Municipality of Tbilisi Environmental Protection Service. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers of the event, and I really feel privileged to be among the distinguished speakers of the webinar 3 Urban by Nature. I would also like to thank the previous presenters and also the audience who, who are following the seminar online and contributing with their questions in the discussion. My today's presentation is about sustainable management of municipal forest as a nature-based solution to combat negative consequences of climate change and I will speak on example of Tbilisi. Tbilisi does not have a long-lasting history of forest management, municipal forest management. Actually, everything started just two years ago in 2018, which marked the huge reformation process in the Tbilisi municipality in terms of environmental protection, urban development and transport mobility. The entire system was transformed and had been integrated under the joint management system. Of course, it was related to the forests as well, and the, the city of Tbilisi conducted its first ever uh, comprehensive forest inventory, which would serve as a baseline for further actions to manage forests, because we did not have any data of the forests surrounding Tbilisi, what are the species planted there, or what are their conditions. So we basically just knew that there is a forest adjacent to our city, but we did not have any information about this forest. So the forest inventory was carried out, which uh, actually registered the entire territory of the forest and divided it into the eight forestry areas and then each of them uh, later was were also subdivided into sectors and units the inventory was um, the, in, the the main objective of the inventory was to analyze the species met in particular sectors and units their phytosanitary conditions detailed description of the areas and exact delimitation boundaries here you see some of the some of the forest areas. We are, uh, the banners are erected to inform the people wh which area is the, which forest area particular forest area is this, and what are the um, uh, total amount total uh, size of the particular area, and what species are met there. Based on the comprehensive inventory, uh, totally around 120,000 hectares of the forest was accounted in the territory of Tbilisi. Most of the areas are in the surroundings of the city. As you can see, this is the, uh, the uh, aerial photo of Tbilisi. So, with the green uh, color, you see the municipal territories of the municipal forests, which are basically surrounding the city. But we also have a small portions of the forest which are penetrated in the urban settings of the city. Besides the forest inventory, uh, the city of Tbilisi also adopted recently the new land use master plan which was another significant benchmark in providing better urbanization of the city. The master plan provides the uh, division of the entire territory of the city into different functional zoning. And then each zone defines what kind of functions can be carried out under this zone. And also what types of and what intensity of buildings can be erected in each zone. For the purpose of better protection of the municipal forest, the new master plan also envisaged the specific zone for the forests, which was called the forestry zone. 
if previously only 2% of the total area of the city was incorporated under the forestry zone, because as I mentioned, we did not have exact data and detailed uh, information about the size of the forest, now the, under the new master plan, almost half of the territory of the city, 20, sorry, 47% of the total area of Tbilisi, is subsumed under the forestry zone. And the master plan also provides that the construction of any kind of commercial buildings or large infrastructural complex, hotels, private houses, etc., are completely prohibited in the forestry zone. So the main function of this zone is the recreation and also contribution to the better uh, air quality in the here you can see some of the phytosanitary measures taken in the city as in the other part of the country and also worldwide we are experiencing uh, the huge uh, uh, ecological catastrophe in terms of the pine trees most of the pine trees in the city are going dead because of the diseases which are spread uh, due to the uh, increased uh, temperature uh, and the insect which can easily penetrate in the tree because of this uh, warmer weather. So this is the, the clear example of negative consequence of the climate change in the city. So what we are trying is to save as much pine trees as possible but at the same time we are cutting down infecting tree, infected trees and we are planting the new trees but certainly not conifers because they are not that much resilient to the climate change. So we have adopted a special list of the species of trees which are resilient to the climate change. So we are counting that in the future 10, 20 or 50 years we would have more resilient forest in the Based on the forest inventory, we also enacted the Forest Management Action Plan, Sustainable Forest Management Action Plan, which provides, provides actions for future 10 years. The action plan was developed and also formally endorsed by the municipality in the same year when we conducted the inventory in 2018. And the action plan includes measures to be undertaken by the authorities for the following 10 years, as I mentioned. So it has been already two years since the action plan was adopted, and some of the actions are already implementing, or some of are implemented, and some of them are ongoing. The action plan describes preservation and restoration steps for each forestry areas and units, including the volume of the wood which can be cut down and taken out for each year in order to support natural restoration. Most of the, for the forest areas in Tbilisi are artificially forested because in the uh, around like two centuries ago, the Tbilisi was desert-like area, so we did not have a lot of vegetation in Tbilisi. But as I mentioned, uh, in the beginning of 20th century, the areas around Tbilisi were artificially forested. That's why we are now experiencing some problems with the trees which have been artificially introduced in this area. And well, what we are trying now is to support and encourage natural restoration, which would provide the more resilience to the climate change in the future. Moreover, the action plan also sets out guidelines on how the spread of existing diseases should be prevented and how they must be cured. The document also outlines recreational potential of the municipal forest and indicates exact areas which may be developed for recreation. And finally, the action plan also envisages maintenance measures for the upcoming 10 years. Here you can see one of the uh, uh, processes of uh, artificial regeneration of the areas in the forest of Tbilisi. As you see, forest, Tbilisi forests, municipal forest is 
very close to the urban settings of the city. So you can see the people are planting uh, trees in one of the uh, degraded areas of the municipal forest. The action plan uh, provided, of course, the reforestation activities, so the plan for reforestation activities, and it divided the potential reforestation um, activities into two groups. So the first group is, are the territories which require artificial reforestation, because the soil is so degraded that it cannot support the natural re re restoration and the vegetation. And the second group of territories, which might be reforested naturally through introducing various incentives, such as fencing, shoveling, etc. It is notab notably, and we are very happy that during the last two years, we have already started the pilot projects of reforestation activities in both directions. So we reforested some areas with the artificial restoration uh, method, and we also started the natural regeneration um, processes in some of the areas of uh, Tbilisi uh, forest. Here you can see the pictures from the artificial reforestation of the Turtle Lake here, one of the forest area, and on that picture you can also spot our mayor, who is personally, who was personally in, uh, involved in the planting activities on that hill. On the on the right side we see the natural restoration area, restoration of Kusanisi forest area. So as you can see, we have fenced some areas which seemed potentially promising for the natural re restoration. And finally, I also wanted to uh, show you one of the examples of nature-based solution now already inside the city. So this is one of the green wall which we have in the cities in the city. So there are few of them. I would not lie and say that there are plenty of them. There are few of them. But this is also one of the innovative approaches which we started to ensure that the uh, greenery, that the greens are also uh, met in the urban setting of the city, which contribute in the, the better quality of uh, the air in the city. So basically this was the main uh, substance of my presentation. Um, I wanted to outline and wanted to demonstrate what we have done in terms of the reforestation process and what are our plans. And the main purpose of this is, of course, to combat the negative consequences of the climate change, which we have or which we have we are already experiencing. So our main goal is to manage the forest in a sustainable manner which means that the forest could be, with, could be resilient and could withstand the years, the dozens of years to come, taking into account the, the uh, ongoing change in the climate globally. So I would like to thank you for your attention and I am remain available for your questions, comments or feedbacks.